Good afternoon from Thorpe Park's Oktoberfest. It's the last weekend of Oktoberfest, so I thought I'd pop down to Thorpe Park to come and check it out. If you haven't already, go and check out the Autumn Towers Oktoberfest vlog. I tell you what, that was an amazing day. So much entertainment. Autumn Towers always do put on a great event. So if you haven't already, go and check out that video, and then you can come out to come check out Thorpe Park's Oktoberfest. But yeah, really excited. I've never been to a Thorpe Park Oktoberfest, so it's my first ever time. In this run, I'm gonna show you all the food prices, food offerings, and of course, the entertainment that Oktoberfest has to offer down here at Thorpe Park in 2022. First of all, kicking off this vlog, I'm gonna watch the Umper Band. This is essentially a German band that perform on the Thorpe Park stage uh, every day at selected times. So with all that said, let's go and check it out. Walking into the main Oktoberfest arena then down here at Thorpe Park, You've got these great big banners that welcome you into this very festive area. Yeah, really like this. Essentially, this is used for all of the events that Fort Park put on down here at the resort. But yeah, you got greeted by this nice van here. It's a shame that this doesn't really travel around the resort. It'd be cool to see this sort of like a little parade on there and uh, someone driving it. That'd be quite cool to see. But yeah, all this bunting at the top here. Uh, it sort of conflicts the theme, the darker theme of Darren Brown's coast train, which is quite funny. But yeah, you've got various different food outlets. This is the main stage where all the entertainment takes place. And you've got all the nice benches set out, which is a bit different from previous years. Usually there's like tables, but this year they've put rows of benches, which could be better. It's more like a theatre when you're in rows of benches and you're watching the entertainment down here at Thorpe Park. With all that said, I'm going to watch the Umper Band, which is first on down here at Oktoberfest. There's four different shows to see. Talking of shows, these are all of the different shows that they've got on today. Uh, so yeah, you've got all the different times down there. These do vary depending uh, if you come in on an on-peak or off-peak day. Today's a Saturday, so ride closure at seven o'clock. One thing I have noticed though, unlike Autumn Towers, they don't do shows after the rides have closed, which is a real shame because if you did see the Autumn Towers Oktoberfest vlog, that's the thing that I really did enjoy, coming off the rides and then grabbing a hot chocolate and watching the, uh, watching the Oktoberfest entertainment. Uh, and I think guests quite enjoyed that because they could still do all the rides and then come and watch the entertainment. Whereas if you do want to watch the entertainment down here at Thorpe Park, then you will have to cut some of your rides down. However, I do come here quite often, so it's not too bad for me. Anyway, let's watch the Umper Band. So the first show down here at Oktoberfest is the Umper Band. Bit like Gorton Towers then. The setup is essentially rows of benches. We've got like beer tents over there. I'll show you all the food offerings a little bit later on in the video. But yeah, you can sit down here, get, have a beer, have some food, have some pretzels. And yeah, watch all the lovely entertainment that the Thorpe Park team put down here on for Oktoberfest. So in the next few minutes, I'll show you a few highlights from the Umper Band. They're really good. The first food outlet that's themed Oktoberfest is the grill. You can see the menu there, bratwurst at £8, um, rib burger £7, drinks at £2.70, which is not too bad. And once again to mention, Merlin annual pass, 
uh, discount is not accepted at any of the Oktoberfest outlets. Same as Autumn Towers, they're all external companies. You've got all your beers there as well. Uh, yeah, it's been quite a debate recently whether they should allow alcohol in theme parks. I think it's fine as long as people stay controlled at a theme park. I think that's the main thing. Anyway, walking down here, you've got various different cabins which sell various different German foods, which we'll check out next. Down here then, this is sort of the main strip where you're getting all your little uh, dessert sort of things. Here though, you've got the Oktoberfest merch. So you've got some jumpers there with the Oktoberfest logo, a few mugs, a few teddy bears. Nothing that I'm really keen on, to be honest. A lot of printed stuff in there. The mugs are quite nice though, they're 3D. But yeah, they're all right. I probably won't, aren't, gonna, aren't gonna buy any Oktoberfest merch. But I tell you what, these hot chocolates look really nice down here. Hot chocolate and brownies, yeah. Look at all the range of brownies they've got there. I can't see the prices. Oh yeah, brownies are four pound. The luxury hot chocolate's four pound as well, which is not too bad pricing, to be honest, at a theme park. But yeah, once again, Merlin Annual Pass is not accepted. Here you've got the Bratwurst. They do chocolate sauce on those as well, uh, if you do want that. The prices aren't very clearly advertised though, so I can't quite see the prices for that. I think that's one thing Thought Park needs to improve on. I really like how they've got all the bunting strung across there. It looks really nice, very similar to the setup at Orton Towers. The only thing I'd say though is Thought Park have nowhere near the space of Orton Towers, so they can't make it as big. And the stage, to be honest, is a little bit underwhelming. They could have done a bit more theming on it, maybe some screens. So to be honest, it's literally like a black tarpaulin put across some truss. I feel like they could have done a bit more with the stage. But yeah, this arena is really nice. We've got a lot of people sitting around, having a drink, having some food, and waiting for the entertainment to begin. What's really quite handy, if you have the Thought Park app, then you can see all of the next show times. So if you go on the Thought Park, then click the queues buttons down there, and then go to events, uh, you can actually see when the next shows are, which is really cool. And if I click on one there, uh, click on that for example, the Umpa Band, you can see all of the available show times. So I definitely recommend downloading the Thought Park app and it's not handy just for events. It also shows you queue times, you can plan your visit, and so much more, all on the Thought Park app. The next show that's on is the Bavarian Dancers. That starts at 5.30, it's about 5.28, and I think it's just about to begin. So in the next few minutes, I'll show you a few highlights from the Bavarian Dancers, down here at Thought Park's Oktoberfest. That is Oktoberfest at Thought Park. This is a very last minute thing, just came down to Thought Park to experience Oktoberfest. It was good, don't get me wrong, however, Orton Towers Oktoberfest was by miles much better. The thing is, Orton Towers have much more space uh, and much more sort of space to put on this event with so much more decorations, more food stalls, a much more bigger, better stage. Um, with Thought Park, it's quite a small, compact park, so it's quite hard to fit all this Oktoberfest into one little dockyard area. However, what they do have, they did make the use of most of the space here. All of it was absolutely filled. But the thing is, there's just not enough seating for everyone in this area. It does get crammed at certain points. However, the entertainment team down here at Thought Park, as always, are doing a brilliant job entertaining guests. The shows, the Umpa Band was really good, really enjoyed them. And overall, it's been a brilliant day down here at Oktoberfest at Thought Park. 
If you did enjoy the video, do consider subscribing as I make theme park content every for you to enjoy. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.